So between parts, I've been busy once more, and uh, it appears that some of our routes might be getting more capacity than we were thinking, and we might have to reintroduce the H1. Yes. It's time for City Bus Manager. Yes, hello boys, girls, and all those in between. My name is Lucy Michaela, and welcome back to City Bus Manager once again. So, we are back on a game that I am genuinely enjoying once again, and so I'm playing it once more, because I will get back to Open TTD at some point. So last episode, we introduced our second double-decker fleets in the form of the ALX 400s for uh, a route I forgot, because I'm silly. Will it tell me if I click on it? For the route 130, and between that same part, or in between the parts also, I did delete the H1, which if we take that off, you'll now notice that the uh, the M2 is kind of full capacity and the M1 is also kind of struggling. We may have to introduce a third route here, but I think we are going to play around more with these routes that we have to play with. So if we go on to here and click new route, we do have uh, Sutton Lane Ends, who's in the Bamboogie is one, Winkle is one, that's not really any useful, Congleton War, Memorial Hospital, none of those are really useful, so we won't be doing that, but we will have a play with... Some other routes potentially, um, maybe even like a 19A to serve Mottram St. Andrew as well. Uh, we'll see though. Um, but what we do also want to do is expand to Leak and other stuff as well. So I think what we're going to do today is expand to Leak. We'll play around with that and we'll have a, we'll let the other routes run their, their course and we'll expand those later. So if we go to Research, uh, we need to expand. I'm just trying to think. So Leak is sort of here. So if we go... I guess if we go... Um, Whatever direction that is. East first, and then we'll go south second. Um, we should be able to um, sort something. Also, between parts, I have expanded the service center further. So, as you can see, it's now got an extra bit out here. I moved the kitchen and the bathroom, which I had to do anyway because the bathroom started not working for some reason. I think there was something that changed when it updates that made this bathroom stop working. It works now, but it stopped working for a while, so I've moved that across. Sorry, I'm being interrupted by this expanding. Um... But also need to make a bigger service centre because I was I was just busy working away on the fleet. Um, I was I just finished putting the uh, or deleting the H1 and obviously then having a look and see what buses I was doing. And as I was planning the day for tomorrow in game, um, I noticed that there was a 35 no it was a 50 minute wait time at the service centre, which isn't ideal. So um, I decided to step back and rebuild that. <laughs> Okay, after a bit of a wait. Yeah, so I expanded the service center slightly, and wow, the game is really lagging now. Holy, let's, uh, settings, graphic, very low. Hate to ruin it, but we're going to have to go very, wow, that's, uh, yeah, quality is uh, not a thing now, huh? Can we not do that? What do I have to, hang on, if I go to graphic and then make this, what are all these settings? better yeah that works okay uh yeah sorry so yeah um i've lost my mind my train of thought again yeah so i expanded the service center here and we also built a second office as we needed more staff so yeah basically the long and short of it is things are greatly expanding so let's have a look at what we're looking at now for the area of service we need to go south now okay let's do that next we need to save up some money first. Now, we are making quite a bit today. It's going down, though. So, this day, we did a lot, and it went down, which is weird. I don't know what happened between these two. Um, but, yeah, so we also, despite deleting the H1, uh, we still have the full NHF buses being used. If we go to tomorrow, for example, we didn't actually save any uh, NHS buses, which is a bit of a shame. However, there is this 188A shift, which is on its own. In fact, if I did that and put that onto here, we do save one. NHS bus, which will be ZBZ. In fact, that could go on there. And if I bring this across to here, hmm. it's because the 80, I took the 88A off of sharing vehicles because it would just not work. So actually, we could do ZBZ, and if we do ZBX, just give this these here. We could do ZBY and ZBZ as normal buses. So we can put these onto standard buses, and we can then sell to the Omni cities that are marked as standard buses now. There we go. Now, are these in the depot right now, or no? Uh, ZBZ is. We'll paint that. It's going to do a 19 today, but obviously, 
it's not going to be for much longer. Um, I managed to get the timetables to work so that the 1991 and 92 do sort of work in the right way. So hopefully it stays that way. But yeah, so I took a lot of the um, the sharing vehicles off between parts. And I also made all of the routes have the correct um, preferred buses as well. So let's just go to our city whites and just see which ones are currently marked as standard. We want to get rid of the older ones first. So our 209 plates can be sold now. Um, they have got shifts coming up, however... Can we potentially... No, there isn't a way to... No, they'll have to do with the next shift they're on. In fact, no, hang on. Because we could just take these off, right? And then go back to here. To our standard ones now. 1535 and 1600. This could just go onto there and then... Boom, there we go. And then when ZBY comes back, it just needs to be repainted. In fact, I think it's just come back now, I believe. Yeah, ZBY, paint that. And then we can sell these 09 plates when they're ready. I think they're still on a route right now, but we'll sell them as soon as they come back. Um, and then we'll, again, try and see if we can... So we're just trying to make some money back here, if we can. Um, oh. And trim down the amount of vehicles we're using as well, which is, you know, the key part, of course. Uh, what we got here? Okay, nope. Um, what are you? No, you're a Satara. I can't even see very well, apparently. Okay. Well, when they do make it back, we will obviously sell those. So we have the rear entrance as well here, which buses are using. Although that feels a bit odd, to be honest. But look, we don't need to worry about realism in that regard. Because it's impossible. Dear, unfortunately, it happens more often than... Lately, that the M2 is late. We're sorry that we now have to claim penalty because of this. Shawson City Motrum. So we, we actually got a penalty for that. Now, what caused that? One ran 21 minutes late, and that must have been the problem. But look how busy it is. Wow. Yeah, we need to... Um, hmm. Well, the good news is we have new buses. We could potentially use these Lion Cities on the M1. Or we could make another route. But I'm just trying to think, because this is so busy. But it needs the route to be more frequent, if anything. But we'll have a look at maybe putting double-deckers on there. One thing that is worth noting, by the way, between parts, uh, there was a minor update to the game. Not a massive one, but just one that has changed it so that... Um, ah, here's one. YT09ZBO. Yeah, so there was a minor update to the game between parts. Um, one of the features was that the, um, the the game now checks when drivers have done a lot of work over the previous days and will try not to assign them um, to uh, a shift again. So it tries to keep the stress levels down, which is really good. So we just made a bunch of money from weekly ticket holders, which is fantastic, which means we can, one, bring those tickets back up to 25, 26 pounds, like they should be. Uh, in fact, I feel like 27, but we'll stick with 26. And we can invest some money. So firstly, we're going to go south, expanding. We do have some more research that's new. Uh, company premises, no. Reduce buses wear and tear. We can research one more double-decker, which gives us something else I don't remember off the top of my head. And solo buses, but what we're actually going to do is we're going to look at investing some money into the fleet now. Um, now, I'm just having a think. So, we could just do the same branding, but put it on to double-deckers instead. And then we could reutilize the uh, 23 plates we just bought last episode. But we'll let those we'll let that route settle. See if it's just because it's a Friday. Maybe on a Friday we'll we'll make them have double deckers on there or something. But yeah. And hopefully this will open up leak here and then we can finally expand the 109 to its full service. Which is what we've been wanting to do for some time as well. Something that wasn't a priority to me because obviously the 38 was bigger. Now while we're waiting for that to finish, which probably won't take long because we have so many researchers. We'll start beautifying our depot a bit. Dee 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 dee. There we go. That's what we're going to do. Because I just realised how boring that's going to be for you guys to watch. Okay. So hopefully these uh, 09 plates will sell soon. Which will be very nice when that does happen. We're about to expand this area of operation again. Here we go. Okay. So we're back now. We just need to... Oh, this bus needs a repair before its next run. But it's, it's got time to its next run anyway. But it's got a flat tyre. So we might as well just repair all of that while it's doing that. We received a new offer in the marketplace. Oh, exactly. 17,800. Thank you very much. Okay. So... Hmm... Do we invest the double? Let's, let's, hmm, no, we'll leave it for now. Let's see. So the 109 is now, we can finally expand that, which is good. So the, I don't know where the, hmm, is it here? Where is the actual terminus? 
I'm not too sure, you know. I think it's over here somewhere. I'm sure it's this here, but let's have a look on a map. I'm going to use my phone for this because every time I use it on the computer itself, it becomes very laggy. So 109. I think if I just search that, it should come up near the top. Yeah, it does. Uh, map. Okay, so it's, oh, it does like a, the route does a circular in League apparently. Or does it do different services? No, it does different services. So the main one is during the day via Selborne Road, which I think is the longer route down this way and the college. Uh, let's have a look. Yes, yeah, this one. Now, where is the bus station though? Oh, it's there. Okay, so it's in like, um, hmm, let me just see a map. Let's see if I can figure this out. I would say that is here. Yes, this is the bus station here. And I know that because I recognize the area now. Okay, brilliant. So the 109 is going to, let's get the 109 up. That is our new and improved 109, which will take longer, which is fine. So this uses standard buses now. It is now an hourly service with 90 minutes on Sundays. Um, I think we might change this. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so looking at it, so currently it gets to uh, Lakeland Lodge and waits till 40. We're going to make that wait till 37. So give it a three minute wait there. Wait till 45. No, actually we'll leave it normal at Sainsbury's. We'll wait till 60 at Leak. It's a 65 actually, go on, give it a long wait. And then coming back, this can wait till 85 at Lakeland Lodge. And then, I think, we didn't actually have a, a stop in the middle, did we, last time? Or did we? No, we didn't. What we'll do is, um, actually, no, that's, that's fine then. And copy that and just paste that onto every day. So it takes nearly two hours, so we're going to need at least two buses. Oh, God. Uh, copy and paste. And then on a Sunday, because it's every 90 minutes, it can wait even longer at leak. We'll give it an extra half an hour wait at leak. A 15 minute wait even at leak. Where's it gone? I've lost leak bus station. Ah. Ah. This is where I need to... I, need, I do need to go through and rename all the stops properly to have the place name at the beginning so it's easier to find. So it now does a... Oh, it already does a 10 minute wait at leak bus station. Oh, wait, that was a, by default, so... That's fine. Perfect. Confirm. So now if we go to tomorrow, the shifts will have changed. Today. Completed, completed. What? Well, they didn't get buses though. I'm so confused. Did we fail routes there by mistake then? Because of that? We might have failed routes because of that. That's a shame. Oh well, tomorrow we'll, we'll fix things up. So tomorrow, assigned bus drivers, assigned buses. You don't have enough buses to complete. So we're missing two standard buses. Now, if we go through the fleet, can we make standard buses here? Potentially. See, there's more city-wise than we need, so maybe if we try and scrap a city-wide off. Because if we 
look at a weekday. So let's go to Monday. Well, let's go here, sorry. Assigned bus drivers, assigned buses. Sundays are fine. If we go to Monday, assigned bus drivers, assigned buses. We're still short on a CETO, which I didn't realise was a thing. That could be fun. We can sort that. Um, I don't really want to get another CETO though, so we'll probably just stick that one shift with a longer bus for now. Not a double decker though, just a longer bus. She says, without any longer buses to utilise. Um, a little odd that I put ZBX in the middle there, but in a way it's kind of nice at the same time, so we'll go with it. Um, we might well change that. Hmm, this is interesting. I Yeah, I can't fit that bus, I can't fit this shift anywhere. The shift is awkward. There you go. You'll have to have an NHS bus, I guess, because there's nowhere else to put it on. But then, at the same time, looking at it, can I then create some standard buses because, so this could go on to there free up citywide, easy, so we'll make that a standard bus, good 14, 20 We also have this one, which is still already a standard buses bus. So that could then, yes, yeah, so we can withdraw this one, and we can replace that with something else, or we can move this across, make that citywide LFs, and make this standard buses, and then we could scrap the ten plate. Again, I'm just trying to be semi-realistic there. And maybe what we should do is look at maybe getting another of these like um, these buses. Now I did buy. I'm sure I bought a couple more of those, didn't I? Did I not? I might be imagining that. Oh, I did, yeah, yeah. I got some the BU16 UID. So I, I think I bought these bet they are between part of that one. That was a... It's, it represents an evolution. So, yeah, we could look at maybe getting those instead. Um, we have these as well to play with. Okay. Just having a I'm just seeing if I can somehow squeeze um, wherever it's gone. So 92 shift on the NHS bus. Again, we could then get rid of the, um, yeah. I don't know what I'm even trying to do at this point. I'm trying to achieve something that's not possible, really. Um, okay. Cool. Da, da, da. Right, we'll monitor the routes. We'll accept that offer. Thank you very much. So let's... Hmm, should we invest in some new stuff? We could look at researching another solo bus, maybe. Go on. And I guess we could maybe look at bendy buses. Let's research an articulated bus. Let's see what we get on that. If we get something we can utilize, we could utilize that as maybe replacing the 23 plates we just got on the M2, and then maybe utilize these four on, say, the... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. On the M1, which does need four vehicles, I believe. So that, because we could then make the M1 utilize those, in fact. That could be a good idea, you know. Because, I think. So, let's just have a look. So, the Lion City has got a greater capacity by five passengers, but it has less seats, which is a bit of a problem. Might not have been the best bus to buy. However, we could... Mm, these would have been better, actually. Interesting. There is another plan. And that is to use these on a third route. Because what we could do, if we go to routes here. So we have this, uh, oh, there's an, oh there's new ones that come up. Oh, interesting. So we've got a bit of more one we could utilise. A Ball Hay Green Football Club in Le Leak. There's a Con the Congleton War Memorial Hospital route. Which this could be an interesting one to play around with. Potentially. Winkle, again, this is a big one. Because this could be a really interesting... Um, route we could do a winkle service that could utilize those buses we bought the 23 plates we could have a route to winkle which could be interesting um should we go with that let's do that and we'll call this the m3 and then we'll well don't mind you do we want to put the route before we have no let's get the new buses first before we do this so let's get these let's get these bendies researched we'll have a look at those and see if maybe we can implement those oh perfect we got the satara bendy just what i wanted 
Now, how much are they going to cost us? Wow, those are expensive. Well, let's get two for now. And we'll slowly transition to them, shall we? Let's just wait till we get a little bit more money. Now, we might not get the same colour here, but look. We'll make it close enough. So, white. White. And then I could look back and see what colour I used. But we'll just go on to here. We'll get a similar tone of green. mind I've just realized that they don't make bendy sitaros well they do but they wouldn't make a do 530 but I don't think the, uh, the the modern versions in the game so let's go for that apply I didn't save the flipping livery but that's fine we can do that now let's just send one to the depot but before we do that let's give them plates so oh yeah and it requires long yeah that's right um, parking space large and we'll just put these against here And just because we've just got this, we need to get large bus wash, which we can put here. And lifting platform big, which is there. There we go. So we can only repair and wash these one at a time, which is fine. Um, definitely fine. Now these were, yeah, these were custom plated, weren't they? Let's get these similar custom plates. We'll say Cheshire, B, uh, Cheshire East um, 23 bus. And uh, let's see... D twenty two bus. Actually no, because that would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Let's go Cheshire twenty three bus. And uh Cheshire twenty two bus. There we go. Problem solved. Da 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 da. Now, we're gonna go into here and we're gonna go to tomorrow and we're just gonna quickly look. In fact no, yeah it will be tomorrow, won't it, yeah? Where are they? Where are they? Uh here they are. We'll call these uh, new vehicle group Cheshire East Bendies. There we go. Where are we going? Cheshire East Bendies. And Cheshire East Bendies. And we will quickly, while we got the chance, let's trial tomorrow M2 by putting the two morning shifts. No, we'll do one morning shift, sorry, and one evening shift on those. In fact, you don't need four buses. Not on the Saturday anyway. So potentially on a Saturday alone, we could have the full route run with these. Yeah. Tight turnaround, but it could work. And then we'll put these on the, the new route, um, which we're going to introduce. I know we're in debt here, but don't worry. What we'll do, we'll take this uh, 50 grand loan and we'll, we'll repay that in a bit. So. 
New route. Um, Winkle. No, not owned by Shroot. <laughs> New route. Winkle. Accept. M3. And colour on that. Go for purpley colour. Okay, using our bus stop for everything but routes that exist in real life there. Again, it's going to very much follow the uh, the 109 and the 14 of real life. Now, we're going to Winkle, which is, of course, um, I've already lost, is there. So we could follow the, the, the 14 exactly, or we could go slightly different. We could go down here and then around uh, this way. To, where's Winkle? There. We could do that, yeah. I need to find what this lake's called. Just get good maps up quickly. So it's called Bosley Reservoir. That's fine. We can make that our next stop. So if we go to... Actually, we'll, it. we'll stop at Bosley Crossroads. But around the corner. And then Bosley Reservoir. And then we need to follow this round to Winkle, so it's sort of down this way. I guess there's not really much here, but that's fine. We can still stop at places. So we'll stop here, for example, and we'll call this. I don't know if this place has a name. The road is called Dumbers. No joke. That's actually what the road's called. So, uh, Dumbers. And then goes on to Holland Lane. Not a lot at Holland Lane. Um, however, there is Min End Lane, which is not represented very well on this map by the looks of it. I'm quite confused. Hang on. Right, on Clulo Barn, that would be a good thing to serve. Let's serve that. So that's here. Oop. Clulo Barn. Which is at the top of this road. And then going down this way. Barlow Hill. Ridge Hill. Because it's both roads and that seems fair enough. And now we're heading into Winkle um, from here. So that's that junction there. And then we're going into Winkle itself. Now Winkle hasn't really got much to it to be honest. It's kind of small. So I don't think we want to terminate there. Really we could continue to leak. Or we could go to uh, Mirebrook. Which there is stops for. Is there any routes that go there? So I'm just having a look to see if there's any actual stops in real life. No, so there's no routes to go here anymore. They used to. So we could go to, to here. Yeah, we could run to Mirbrook on it. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully this doesn't do too bad. I mean, it's a very big trial. Where the bloody hell am I? I'm lost. Up there. There we go. So we'll bring it down towards Winkle. Let's stop here for St. Michael's Parish Church Winkle. Um, and then I guess go down the falls. So this is... Uh, Falls, what a lovely name for a road. And then make our way down to there, maybe. So if we go down this road, I guess. Follow this round, and then... In, yeah, that makes sense. Shepherds, Crook Huts, and 
There is a there is a pub here, which isn't even shown in the game, which is a bit of a shame because they probably would go there if, if it was actually there. But look, <coughs> I'd have a stop there if it was a real life route, and then just follow this road round. So then we reach uh, Danebridge here. So we'll just give it the one stop in Danebridge, I guess. Like that. So if you're going to Danebridge, there's your stop. Tell you what, this is so difficult to understand because it's so. Oh, I see. So three pools turns that way. Now, which way goes to where we're heading to? I've lost where we're going to again. <laughs> You're probably as lost as me at this point. Um, so we'll stop here. Three pools. We'll probably introduce like a real route next. Um, Bear the hill. I have a feeling this won't do too well this route, but it's fine. I don't know what to call this. Oh, it's called Toft Lodge Farm. And then you've got Meerbrook Road here because this is like a junction point. Gunhill Road, Meerbrook Road. We'll just call this a Meerbrook Road. And then, now I assume Meerbrook Road leads to Meerbrook, but it apparently doesn't, which is a bit odd. Oh no, I see. This is Meerbrook Road, the one we're following now. It becomes it. Why is this big bit here? This big bit seems important. Nope, it's just a random green bit that's shown in this map for no reason. Um. That's a mark on Google Maps, we'll take it. And then I don't know what this bit's meant to be, it doesn't have anything marked. Does it have a road name? No, this road doesn't even have a name, so it's a private road, so we can't give that a stop. But if we go down to here, um, I don't quite know where this would be on the map, though, mind. I guess if that's back lane, then. It's, yes, yeah, this road here. This is the barns. The barns. And then we're in Meerbrook. So I guess for Meerbrook, we kind of have to figure out what we're going to do for a turnaround point. I guess we could go to the Post Cottage, which is an interesting name, and Meerbrook Methodist Church. Oh, hang on. What's this down here? Oh, look at this. We've got the Waterview Restaurant, which I assume this is for something important. Titlesworth, Tittle, tit, Titsworth Water. That's generally the name of it. So let's just go to there, I guess. Could not be reached because. Oh, I see. So that road doesn't count as existing. So I guess we go to. Well, I guess we go to there and just call that. Uh, Titsworth uh, Water. That's then generally the name. I'm not kidding. And then I guess just turn it back around. It's longer than it needs to be, but to be honest with you, I think this is kind of an interesting idea. Who said we can't do this? This could be a failure, and who knows? But look, you've got to try these things to know if they're going to be a bad idea. 
Although doing this when I'm quite tired is probably what's making me do such a strange route. That looked really weird for a second. What even that is that? It doesn't even have a a name. It's just it's just saying there's something there. It has no name. That's really interesting. I think what I will do, actually, between parts anyway, is potentially introduce a express version of a couple of of, of certain routes. I do want to have a play with an X thirty nine, X thirty eight, sorry, at some point. I think what I want to do here, we could terminate it at the railway station, and then it has to come round. Nah, screw it, that's stupid. That takes a long time. That route. Okay. No preferred vehicle group. City Cheshire East 12 C's. Cheshire 12 C's. Okay, let's just scroll through. So Bosley Crossroads can wait. No, let's go Bosley. Let's go Dumber. No, Bosley Reservoir can wait till 20. The can wait at Dane Bridge till 33. And then out the end stop for five minutes. Coming back. Uh, Dumbers. Not Dumbers. Danebridge for 65. What was it? Was it Dumbers, the other one? No, Bosley Reservoir. Three minutes. Copy. Paste. Confirm. And then if we go to tomorrow. And then just scroll through to these Cheshire's buses, which I've had to scroll past and then come back to. We're going to put the M2. Again, we're going to do one of each on there, and then this should be able to go onto one of those in a minute. Hang on. Uh, let's go. Oh, that's actually a bad idea, no. Um, hmm. Did not think this through. Let's pull that off for a minute. It's an M3, that. No, hang on. Did I pull an M3 onto that by mistake? No, M2, M2. M2. That works. Okay. So. <clears throat> did the M2 then run with some double bendies today? No, but the, the capacity was lower as the day went on, which is interesting. Uh, we do have an M3 to assign for today, which is interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, it tells you now. That's great. Randall Birch. You've done zero hours in the past few days. Let's get you out C21 AST. So I think that's where I'm going to end off today's video. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you hit the like button. And if you do, uh, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. If you do subscribe, please turn on the notification bells. Uh, between parts, again, I'm going to do some more work on the save, and I will catch up with you guys in the next part. Other than that, I've been Lucy Michaela, and this has been a look at this has been City Bus Manager. Thank you for watching, and with the thumbnail grabbed, goodbye.